Hello and welcome to this lesson. The aim is what is robotics engineering and what will I be doing in this class? As you prepare for class, please observe the champs chart. There is no conversation. You can only receive help from your teacher. The activity is individual work and desk work. You can use the electric pencil sharpener to sharpen your pencil. And you can pick up material, then return to your seat. Please pick up two handouts before returning to your seat. The title is Robotics Engineering Description. One handout is for a do now part A and the other is for a do now part B. Please observe the chance chart. You should now be seated and ready for work. Here is a do now. Write answers for the following questions and assignments. What was the previous lesson about? What did you learn from the previous lesson? What did you realize from the previous lesson? What did you figure out from the previous lesson? Remember, you can pause this video for more time. For the following activity, you can speak at a level one, you can receive help from a student, and you can work together. Now it's time to share with a student sitting next to you. If your seat number is even, share with someone sitting to your right and if your seat number is odd share with someone sitting to your left now it's time to work individually and be seated while you work on the following assignment Now it's time to share with the entire class. If you are chosen to speak, you can speak at level four. In the previous lesson, we learned that there are many reasons for using a journal, which help us to think and make us smarter. Then we were given instructions on the way to make journal entries. First, we skip a line after the end of an entry from a previous class. Then we write the date for each new entry. We write about our experiences, which are about things that we learned, things that we realized, and things that we figured out. We also take notes about the lesson or topic being taught and draw sketches, diagrams, charts, schematics, 
etc. We can also write about emotional topics. We can find ideas from the learning log or from the participation and success topics from the champs chart. Now it's time to work on one of the handouts titled Robotics Engineering Description. The handout is for To Do Now Part A. First, write your name and period. 1. Write about things that you expect or predict to learn in this class. You should write at least four full or complete sentences on the lines below. You should write neatly. Correct spelling and grammar will be expected. This is worth five points. Two, draw something that represents your knowledge and understanding about robotics engineering. Use the empty space below the lines. This is worth Five points. This is the empty space below the lines for your drawing. Raise your hand if you would like to use colored pencils. For the following activity, you can speak at a level two. You can receive help from students. You will work in teams. You can stand and walk, but you must remain within arm's reach of your workstation. Now it's time to share with your team. Share your answers for number one. and share your drawings for number two. Now it's time to work individually and be seated while you work on the following assignment. Now it's time to share with the entire class. If you are chosen to speak, you can speak at level four. Here are my answers for number one. One, the things that I expect or predict to learn in this class are about robots. Two, I expect or predict to learn about the reason or reasons that we use robots. Three, then I expect or predict to learn about the ways that robots are created or built. Four, also I expect or predict to learn about engineering principles. Here are some examples of drawings for number two. And here are some more examples. You are still required to work individually.
This is a video of an astronaut walking on the moon. But why do we send astronauts into outer space? Well, ever since we were little babies and could put objects into our mouths to learn about our world, we had this innate desire to explore We use our technology to carry us places to explore and to protect ourselves. However, due to limited funding and or resources and very hazardous or dangerous environments like space, volcanoes, and the deep sea, or due to heavy or repetitive tasks that can injure ourselves, we use robots to help us to explore and accomplish these tasks. Robots must be engineered or designed and developed to successfully perform specific tasks. This is a robot that was engineered to explore Mars. It is the Mars rover named Curiosity. Curiosity being big and heavy as a small car, had to land gently without being damaged after leaving the rocket that carried it to Mars. Here is a simulation video of Curiosity's impressive landing. In class, I will show you a video about a robotic mechanism that we will learn to construct. Or you can find a video named Light Orienting Device. I usually mount this robotic mechanism on a display board and during a class demonstration, I will describe the internal operation of this device. What exactly is robotics engineering? Well, robotics engineering is designing and developing a robotic mechanism or robot, which is a machine that uses an animal-like movement or motion to solve a physical problem or perform a mechanical task or job. While designing and developing a robotic mechanism or robot, you will learn by guided exploration and discovery. You will also learn by working on projects. This robotics engineering course uses the highest levels of learning by using analysis, evaluation, and synthesis. This robotics engineering course also uses a five-step process, which is exploration, designing, testing, improving, and sharing. You will learn by guided exploration and discovery of electronic circuitry. We will design electronic circuits to perform a set or specific function. Then we will test electronic circuits to analyze the characteristics and operation parameters. Then we will evaluate whether the design operates as expected or if improvements can be made. Finally, we will share by presenting final team projects with the entire class. So, what will you be doing in this class? You will be learning about electrical and electronic components and about electronic circuits. You will also learn about using schematics in circuit designs. You will then test or analyze and construct or synthesize 
your designs on a breadboard. Then you will evaluate your designs to see whether they meet specifications or expectations in solving a problem or whether you can make improvements. And depending on your progress in the class, you will learn about programming or coding. You will be working on projects throughout the course. Now it's time to work on the second handout titled Robotics Engineering Description. It is the Do Now Part B. First, write your name and period. 1. Write about whether your expectations about the things you will learn in this course have changed after today's introduction to robotics engineering. Write about the things that are the same if your expectations have not changed. You should write at least four full or complete sentences on the lines below. You should write neatly. Correct spelling and grammar will be expected. This is worth five points. Two, draw something that represents your new knowledge and understanding about robotics engineering. Use the empty space below the lines. This is also worth five points. This is the space below the lines where you should draw. For the following activity, you can speak at a level one, you can receive help from a student, and you can work together. Now it's time to share with a student sitting next to you. If your seat number is even, share with someone sitting to your right. And if your seat number is odd, share with someone sitting to your left. Here is my answer for number one. My expectations about the things that I will learn in this course have changed a little after today's introduction to robotics engineering. I did expect to learn about building robots and I did expect to work on projects, but I did not expect to learn about using schematics in designing electronic circuits. Also, I did not expect to learn about programming or coding. Here is an example of something you may have drawn for number two. Now it's time to work individually and be seated while you work on the following assignment. Do now use the general entries reference handout or lists here to write about your learning experiences and pick at least one incomplete sentence from the learning log and complete it. For your learning experiences, write about something you learned, realized, or figured out. Here's the list of incomplete sentences from the learning log that you can choose from. Now it's time to share with the entire class. If you are chosen to speak, you can speak at level four.
Here are my answers to the do now assignment. My learning experiences. Something I learned was that robots use animal-like movements and that this robotics engineering course uses high-level learning methods such as analysis, evaluation, and synthesis. Something I realized was that robots use electronic circuits to function. Something I figured out was that we need to learn about schematics, breadboards, and programming, as well as work on projects in this robotics engineering course. My learning log. I was surprised by having to learn about electrical and electronic components and circuits. I was particularly interested in learning more about robots. The most useful thing that I will take from this lesson is that I will use the engineering process to solve problems. I want to find out more about programming and coding. Now it's time to review, summarize, and conclude today's lesson. Today we wrote about things that we expected or predicted to learn in this class. And we drew things that represented our knowledge and understanding about robotics engineering. We learned that we use robots to explore and to perform tasks that are too dangerous for us. What exactly is robotics engineering? Well, robotics engineering is designing and developing a robotic mechanism or robot, which is a machine that uses an animal-like movement or motion to solve a physical problem or perform a mechanical task or job. While designing and developing a robotic mechanism or robot, you will learn by guided exploration and discovery. You will also learn by working on projects. This robotics engineering course uses the highest levels of learning by using analysis, evaluation, and synthesis. This robotics engineering course also uses a five-step process, which is exploration, designing, testing, improving, and sharing. You will learn by guided exploration and discovery of electronic circuitry. We will design electronic circuits to perform a set or specific function. Then we will test electronic circuits to analyze the characteristics and operation parameters. Then we will evaluate whether the design operates as expected or if improvements can be made. Finally, we will share by presenting final team projects with the entire class. So, what will you be doing in this class? You will be learning about electrical and electronic components and about electronic circuits. You will also learn about using schematics in circuit designs. You will then test or analyze and construct or synthesize your designs on a breadboard. Then you will evaluate your designs to see whether they meet specifications or expectations in solving a problem or whether you can make improvements. And depending on your progress in the class, you will learn about programming or coding. You will be working on projects throughout the course. We wrote about whether our expectations about the things we will learn in this course 
had changed after today's introduction to robotics engineering. And we drew things that represented our new knowledge and understanding about robotics engineering. In the next lesson, you will learn about using a schematic to build a circuit. Remember that you will need to leave your journal in the designated area at the end of class. The final class events will be performed in class. Follow your curiosity. Thank you for being here today. I welcome you to the next class.